What's up, you guys? It's Steve here and President Joe Biden live just signed into law a new bill and we're hearing there's a lot more coming. Now, I got to ask you really quick. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think is going to unfold in these midterm elections? Is there going to be a red wave of Republicans taking over or are Democrats going to speed up their efforts right now, pass a ton of things, convince American people to keep them in power? And is there going to be what they're calling a blue wall that's going to stand against a red wave? Let me know your thoughts, you guys. Is it going to be a blue or red 2022? We will see. I will keep you up to date. And this is your breaking news, stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, live, I caught some video footage for you of the signing of the CHIPS Act that was just signed by President Joe Biden. Take a look, you guys. Biden to sign China Company petition bill to boost U.S. chip makers. This was saying it was coming out live. I recorded a little bit for you. Now the headlines are going to start coming out, but I captured it for you live. going to share with you this and take a look. It says... President Joe Biden is set to sign into law the bipartisan bill that aims to boost the U.S. competitiveness with China. The bill will include more than $52 billion for U.S. companies producing semiconductors, as well as billions more in tax credits to encourage investments in chip manufacturing. The White House said that the multiple companies spurred by the CHIPS bill have announced more than $44 billion in new semiconductor manufacturing investments. And this one is the one that Bernie Sanders was complaining about, saying, listen, we're going to send over tens of billions, if not hundreds of billions to invest in chip manufacturing yet what about the unfulfilled promises for the American people now in addition to that this is the one that we heard where take a look at this Trump says that McConnell got played like a fiddle by the Democrats in the spending bill and that is because we had heard that there was all of this stuff falling apart with the reconciliation bill with the Inflation Reduction Act and Manchin and Schumer couldn't see eye to eye and McConnell had said that he would not support the chips bill unless they did not pass the reconciliation bill and it looked like things fell apart so McConnell got on board. He went along with passing the chips bill. And then right after, literally seven hours after, five or seven hours, there was suddenly an announcement that there was an agreement on the reconciliation bill. And McConnell was furious and Trump is saying he got played by the Democrats. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. But we just saw the chips bill signed into law by the president today. And now we just saw over the weekend the reconciliation bill has passed in the Senate and is making its way to the House. And we're hearing that this is likely going to pass. Now, I've also got some video footage for you from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who's saying Democrats... They're getting things done. They're going to convince the American people to stand with them, to vote for them, to keep them in power. There's going to be a blue wall. And you're going to hear him say what's unfolding, what's going to be done, and what's going to be happening with this Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, which he's saying it's going to get passed. And right now, Democrats are in full control of Congress. So looks like this is going to make its way through. Now, we will see. I'll keep you up to date. If you missed my last video, you're going to want to check it out as we're hearing Republicans and some economists saying this is actually the Inflation Seduction Act. It's going to cause more inflation, more taxation, and it's going to hurt American people. But Democrats and some economists are saying, no, this is a good bill. It's historic. It's going to help out a ton. Now, it looks like we're going to see because this is going to be going through you guys. And also, we're hearing that, as I mentioned, Democrats, they're bringing a lot of things back. If you missed my last video, check it out. We're hearing increases to Social Security. Bernie Sanders is bringing that back, along with child tax credits, along with Republican Senator Mitt Romney, who's saying we need child tax credits. Also, free college tuition, free child care. We heard Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer say they're not going to rest until they get these things done. All of these are coming back along with also proposals for stimulus checks. And we're hearing economists say that when there's an official recession declared, it is very likely we're going to see another stimulus check. It's going to be very much so needed. They're just saying right now with inflation and everything going on, it's going to be kind of hard to figure out how they're going to be distributing these funds. They shouldn't issue new funds, but we still have $800 billion of existing stimulus funds just sitting there. That's right. And they're saying the president has the legal authority, reallocate and repurpose and send it out. Well, you guys, we will see. I will keep you up to date. Now, in addition to that, many of you know, I'm working on the comprehensive list of stimulus checks and I just checked. Man, we have are approaching 7,000 people that have signed up at www.reliefroadmap.com. I'm here for you guys. 
Yesterday, I have assembled now, I think, 21 different programs in the state of California. I'm working on all of them in the nation. I've hired people to help me. Um, we're putting together a, uh, a this comprehensive list, also a page, a community page. Going to continually keep you up to date on these as they're popping up left and right. Some are expiring, but the new phases of funding are coming in. We've heard of budget surpluses of $300 billion in California, $27 billion in Texas. Uh, Florida sending out child tax credits and there's new things popping up all the time. I'm gonna keep you guys up to date. Just let you know about two other new ones that popped up just yesterday approved that are gonna be on their way. Approved checks in various cities and states. So you guys, I'm gonna keep you up to date on everything unfolding, but now let's take a look at the video footage uh, of President Joe Biden signing the CHIPS bill into law and also what Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has to say about them standing strong, passing legislation, and staying in power in Congress. Now before we do, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the updates, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments. Share this out. If you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. All you got to do is very quickly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, any specific specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, where you're going to be able to learn about growing wealth, personal finance, how to help you out in this time of recession and inflation and uncertainty in our economy. I hope that's a blessing to you as well. And as I mentioned, if you haven't already, go to www.reliefroadmap.com, put in your email, get added to the wait list. going to be releasing the comprehensive list of all checks on all levels, states, cities, counties, so so you don't miss out on anything. But with that being said, you guys, let's take a look at the video footage so you can see it for yourself. The spirit and the soul of this nation. We are the United States of America, a singular place of possibilities. I'm not going to go sign the Ships and Science Act. And once again, I promise you, we're leading the world again for the next decades. Thank you. There you see, so this is live, guys. President Joe Biden signing the CHIPS bill. I caught the end of the speech for you so that way you could see it. Um, and this actually just happened moments ago. So the headlines are gonna start rolling out that he has officially signed this into law, but I was able to catch for you the moment that he uh, is signing it right here. You can see Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to the right, Kamala Harris to the left in the black uh, suit. Okay, ready? Got it. Oh, it's low off. Chips bill officially signed into law. And you're gonna hear Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer saying the next one is going to be the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let me ask you about what I just laid out very quickly um, about this string of accomplishments that you have managed to pull off in the United States Senate. This bill, um, the Inflation Reduction Act that you and your colleagues were able to pass in this marathon session over the over the weekend, it is being called the largest, most important, most significant legislation since the Affordable Care Act. Do you think it is that big a deal? Do you see it in those terms? I do. Some have even compared it to things even earlier in the 60s, but it's huge. And look, for years, decades, Congress said we were going to do something about climate change. Nothing happened. We were going to go after the pharmaceutical industry and lower the cost of prescription drugs. Nothing happened. We were going to go after wealthy corporations and individuals who didn't pay a fair share of taxes. Nothing happened. And now all of these things, plus nine million jobs, plus real deficit reduction, $300 billion, is happening at once. It's an amazing accomplishment. And particularly in light of the fact, Rachel, we have a 50-50 Senate running from Bernie Sanders to Joe Manchin. We get no help from the Republicans on these issues. They're intransigent. So it's really something I, uh, my colleagues stuck together, every one of us, because we knew we had to get something done. It doesn't have everything we want. It doesn't have everything why we wa I want. But if you ask the American people, do you, are you anguishing and, and just concerned that we can't get it, that Congress is gridlocked and can't get anything done? Well, these six weeks have brushed that away. And I'll make one more comment, uh, Rachel, about 
you know, how it might affect things. You know, people are now realizing that the Republican Party is becoming a MAGA Trump Republican Party. The Dobbs decision on choice and the other Supreme Court decisions on guns and on on environment, uh, the January 6th hearings, uh, the the uh, right wing rhetoric that comes out of almost so many mainstream or formerly mainstream Republican politicians. They don't like them. But they were wondering, well, if we give the Democrats power after November, you know, keep the House Democratic, increase the number of seats in the Senate, will the Democrats be able to get anything done? I think the last six weeks, with all the bills you've mentioned, and particularly uh, this recent bill, um, answer with a resounding yes, Democrats can get things done in a bipartisan way when Republicans will work with us or are pressured to work with us, but on our own if we have to. Did you learn something through this process, again, particularly on this this bill that you just were able to pass this weekend, um, about sort of unlocking the uh, uh, unlocking the lock that has <laughs> been uh, Senator Manchin of West Virginia, Senator Sinema of Arizona? Um, those two senators, in particular, um, have taken on sort of outsized roles, at both in the public, both in, in terms of public attention, but also in terms of the ability to decide what legislation moves forward and what doesn't, just because of their willingness to um, stand with Republicans on some things, or at least not always stand with their Democratic colleagues. Yeah. Do you feel like you've learned more about how to work with them in ways that keep them on side with you? Well, you know, the bottom line is that uh, in a 50-50 Senate, any one senator can block things. But if you, you have to keep going at it and finding ways to come together in a way that affects the American people. Look, Joe Manchin and I disagree on climate, but this bill will reduce this proposal when it becomes law is the most massive uh, change in fighting global warming that we've had. It will reduce the amount of carbon that goes into the atmosphere by 2030 by 40 percent. Now, the original BBB was better, but 45 percent. So it's very close. And I'll tell you the one thing I've learned. It's a lesson my dad taught me. My dad uh, uh, passed away in November, but he's still with me. You know, he, he had to work his whole life in a junky little exterminating business. He hated it, never complained, never, wor never uh, resented people, got better breaks than him. But he taught me one thing, that if you work hard at something, when you're doing the right thing, and if you work hard and you persist the way he put it, God will reward you, you'll succeed. We had a lot of dead ends in this process. But we kept persisting and persisting and persisting, and look what we've achieved, something really, really fine. So my message, persist, don't give up, try to find that common ground, keep your principles, but make sure that you never give up. There you have it, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer saying they had a lot of dead ends, but they stayed persistent, and we're hearing they're gonna stay that way as well until we reach these midterm elections. They're gonna keep pushing. Biden's agenda to make sure that they can show the American people they can get things done, that there will be a blue wall, they're saying, and they will stay in power in Congress. Now, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think that's going to be the case, or do you think there's going to be a red wave as people have had it? They're tired of the unfulfilled promises, and it's been way too long, and Republicans are going to take control of Congress. What do you think is going to happen, you guys? But we're hearing that there's a lot on the way in the next upcoming 90 days I'm going to keep you up to date every step of the way. Executive actions, legislation, and assortment of different things is coming. But you guys, with that being said, that is the latest. Thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far, you haven't already, don't forget, smash the like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments. Share this out. If you want to stay up to date, totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. Consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. And if you haven't already, add your email at www.reliefroadmap.com to get access to the comprehensive list of all stimulus checks. Add yourself to the wait list. We're approaching 7,000 people. I'm going to make sure that everybody knows about everything available. Please spread the word. Don't make this a secret like Congress has made it. I don't want it to be difficult and everyone's searching, spending hours trying to find information of money that's supposed to be for them. I'm going to make it all in one easy to access place so you don't miss out on anything. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.